Well, hello there. One of my last few midweek hikes. It's a Wednesday, the 1st of November. Time changes this weekend. And so, I'm trying to squeeze them in while I can. I've come out again to Leda Thompson. Uh, depending upon how things work out, this could potentially be my last time hiking out here this year. Uh, assuming that I take maximum opportunities on my weekends to get out to more lengthy or remote hike hiking trails. So uh, I know we've visited this trail many times over the course of this year, but this this could be our, our last one this time around. So we'll make the most of it, get the miles we need in, enjoy the trail in this uh, brisk weather the, the temperature has definitely taken a turn uh, from our 70s and 80s of last week it was uh, 30 degrees this morning not quite that cold right now but it's gonna be dropping fast with the Sun going down so I have added the long sleeve shirts and uh, hope that that's enough as the uh, temperatures drop but we're gonna knock this one out and see how it goes Well, as I said, today is the 1st of November, so I thought I'd just kind of do a little bit of an assessment of how my October went. Uh, I ended up doing 141 miles in October, which was not only my best month yet, is 50 miles further than my second best month. So definitely put in some effort in October to pull back from the deficit I was in, get back on track, and position myself to finish this challenge out successfully by the end of the year. In addition to the uh, greatest distance, I'd have to go back and, and check, but I'm pretty sure that it was the most number of hikes I've done in a single month as well. Taking advantage as often as I could, like tonight, of getting out and doing midweek hikes more so than I had throughout the earlier part of the year. So, hello. <laughs> Lots of squirrels active out here today. So, well, crossing the bridge and uh, making my way around the lake. I'm on my second time round and uh, just so no one ever thinks there's no challenges to a local hike like this that's not that big of a distance there can definitely be challenges even if it's not physical challenges on the trail there can be mental challenges like I was coming up on the end of my first loop and there was a big part of me that was going one loops enough you, you don't have to do anymore. It's getting cold out. You haven't hiked in a few days and you're really not feeling it. You know, one's good enough. I can't, can't think like that. So I'm continuing on. Just as a uh, follow up from that last clip, I am not saying that you don't listen to your body and your mind and make reasoned decisions on what to do to limit yourself when the situation calls for it. I am a big advocate of that. But I'm basically saying that don't let yourself fall prey to excuses that can simply be overcome with a little bit of will perseverance and determination and I say that having spent a year's worth of excuses <laughs> over the course of this challenge and uh, paying the price as a result in the deficit that I fell into and I don't want to fall back into the same habit uh, especially in light of the effort 
that I uh, have put in over the last couple of months to climb out of that hole. Last thing I want to do is see that effort go for naught by allowing unwarranted excuses to cut me short. So, when the opportunity presents and the body is capable and the environment is welcoming a little bit of discomfort or distraction cannot be a reason to stop or shortchange yourself. And that's today's philosophical observation from the trail. Well, I'm just about back to the end of the trail on this second loop. This will be the end of the hike, so I'm gonna close it out here. It's been a quick one, a cool one, and uh, a time of mental challenge and triumph as I overcome the challenge. So, put that feather in our cap and call it a good hike. Thanks, as always, for coming along with me. We will see you on the next trail. Well, hello there. Out for another Friday night hike. Could potentially be my last one of the year as the time changes this weekend. I have come out again to Red Top Mountain State Park to do the Iron Hill Trail. Actually squeezed out of the house just a little bit earlier and avoided some of the traffic on a Friday night. So getting up here a little bit earlier, I have chosen to park near the uh, trading post instead of the normal Iron Hill uh, trailhead parking lot to uh, give me just a little bit of an extension of the hike from as on the connecting trail from the uh, trading post down to the Iron Hill Loop proper. So we will see how the night goes, what sights I see, appreciate the colors, and uh, if any wildlife presents itself, I'll let you know how it goes. Got some of our evening's uh, woodland denizens out here. I think I startled one. I heard a pretty good huff as she bounded off to the right. This one's a little bit more curious. And probably not make out the one over there right in front of the rock outcropping. She's stomping. She's not happy. Yeah. I will leave you two ladies to your evening. Carry on. Well, I've made it down to the Iron Loop, or Iron Hill, Iron Hill Loop proper, and I'm uh, making my way around what's left of the lake shore. Actually, I shouldn't say it that way. There's a lot more lake shore than there used to be. There's just not as much lake. I know I've talked about it before, but you can get a pretty good sense here as to how far down the lake is right now. So, the, uh, Activities upon the surface are probably slowing down a bit for the season. Whereas it's perfect hiking weather for those of us who simply like to play around the edges.
Well, I'm just about done with the uh, Iron Hill loop proper. So all that'll be left for me is the uh, connecting trail back up to the, uh, where I parked, to the uh, trading post. That's where I was looking for trading post. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and close it out. Temperature's starting to drop, getting chilly. Now, especially with the uh, sun dipping below the surrounding hillsides. So, I'm looking forward to the weekend. It's uh, supposed to be warming back up just a little bit into the 60s and 70s instead of the uh, below freezing temperatures we've had at least overnight and in the mornings the last few days. Not quite ready for that yet. So, I'll appreciate the weather this weekend. See what we can do trail wise to continue this journey but for now thanks for coming along with me tonight and we will see you on the next trail <laughs>